Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, One Aviation selects engine for Project Canada. Google co-founder envisions $100 million blimp. Women Soar You Soar helps girls discover aviation at AirVenture 2017. Hello, I'm Laura Hudson, it's June 5th, and this is Airborne Unlimited. One Aviation has selected the Williams International FJ33 5A12 turbofan to power the EA700 Project Canada. The Canada project was announced last year as an upgrade to the Eclipse 500-550. Relative to the EA550, the Canada holds more fuel in a longer wing with two foot extensions on each side. Bore cabin volume with a 14 inch fuselage stretch, Garmin G3000 avionics and more power with the FJ33 engines. The Williams FJ33 5A12 is a medium bypass turbofan capable of producing up to 1,900 pounds of takeoff thrust at its full rating, but will be derated for installation on Canada to just under 1,200 pounds. The FJ33 5A12 will allow the aircraft to not only meet but exceed the performance goals established for the project. Canada will now have a max cruise speed range in excess of 1,470 nautical miles, with NBAA 100 nautical mile reserves, and will be able to climb direct to its maximum operating altitude of 43,000 feet, even on hot days. Takeoff performance is also significantly improved. I look forward to working with Williams into all the possibilities the FJ33 brings to the Canada project, said Alan Klatmeyer, CEO of One Aviation. The additional power and efficiency of the Williams engines will once again change our customers' view of personal jet performance. Google co-founder Sergey Brin thinks the world needs a larger blimp, and he's hoping he can be the one to make it happen. Brin has proposed an airship that would cost in the neighborhood of $100 million and would be the largest aircraft in the world. It would be used for humanitarian missions such as moving critical supplies into areas that are difficult to access. Bloomberg reported last month that Bryn was building an airship at the NASA Ames Research Center in Mountain View, California, the city in which Google is headquartered. Bryn had initially thought that hydrogen could be used to provide lift for the aircraft, but that is not allowed under FAA rules because of its volatility. So helium will be used to fill the bladders of the airship. The UK newspaper The Guardian reported that while Google Planetary Ventures leases more than 1,000 acres from the government at Ames, the Blimp project is a personal one, not a Google venture. After the break, Women Soar You Soar readies for Oshkosh. Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray Adventure offers Rotax 912 power, a basic instrument panel, and radios. Fly it away for under $120,000. Visit SeaRay.com for more details. The dream is real, a truly affordable personal jet aircraft. The Subsonics Personal Jet Kit is priced at only $42,000. Kit Plus Engine is still under $100K. Add instruments, upholstery, and paint, and you're flying. It's time to put your money where your bucket list is. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. Limited openings remain in EAA's Women Soar You Soar program, which strives to engage, inspire, and educate young women to pursue their dreams in aviation and beyond. The program allows for high school age girls to explore career options, make discoveries, and find new inspirations within aviation during EAA AirVenture Oshkosh, which is scheduled for July 24th through 30th. The program will run from July 23rd through 26th with registration open through June 15th. The Women Soar You Soar's program's unique mentors provide a tremendous opportunity for young women to discover different entities within the world of flight, with possibility of asking questions to women already established in the field. 
With less than 10% of all active pilots being women, the EAA is committed to growing participation in aviation. The Women Soar You Source program's unique mentors provide a tremendous opportunity for young women to discover different entities within the world of flight, with the possibility of asking questions to women already established in the field. Women Soar You Soar 2017 is sponsored by Honda Jet and Women in Aviation International. The program features world-class air shows, mentor meetings, hands-on workshops, a tram tour of EAA AirVenture grounds, and seaplane base. Previous hands-on workshops included photography, flight simulations, and aircraft building skills. Registration is $75 per participant and is open through June 15, 2017, with registration including programming meals and a week-long admittance to EAA AirVenture Oshkosh. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off left. Not exactly a visual spectacle, landing a bird on an aircraft carrier in the middle of a sandstorm is not for the faint of heart, as this video shot in the Persian Gulf in 2003 can attest. Search landing on a carrier in a sandstorm on YouTube. After these messages, former SEC AF gets a new job. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Former Secretary of the Air Force Deborah Lee James has been elected to Textron's Board of Directors, effective July 1, 2017. James recently retired as the 23rd Secretary of the United States Air Force, a position she had held since 2013. Ms. James has 30 years of homeland and national security experience in the federal government and the private sector. Sierra Nevada Corporation has successfully passed a third integration milestone for the Dream Chaser program under NASA Commercial Resupply Services program, bringing it a major step closer to providing resupply services to the International Space Station. Processing of Proton-M, ILV, and Echo Star 21 spacecraft for launch is currently underway at Baikonur Spaceport. The Proton launch of Echo Star 21 satellite was contracted through International Launch Services, Inc., a U.S.-Russian subsidiary of Khrunichev. The Office of U.S. Congressman Frank A. Lobiondo has announced $5,098,991 in federal funding from the FAA for projects and improvements at three South Jersey airports. Lobiondo, who is currently traveling overseas in his capacity as chairman of the House CIA subcommittee, for the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence, is also chairman of the House Aviation Subcommittee. Four instructors have renewed their master instructor designation in the month of May, while one received the designation for the first time. Professional aviation educators who earned or renewed their master title during May 2017 are Quay Carlton Snyder Jr., Master CFI, Monument, Colorado, Brandon Joel Ray, Master CFI, Conroe, Texas, Philip Adam Oppenheimer, Master CFI Aerobatic Glendale, Arizona, J. Clark McNeese, Master CFI Aerobatic Dothan, Alabama, and James Matthew Johnson, Master CFI Helicopter, Hamilton, Ohio. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Coupe Aeronautique Gordon Bennett in Freeboard, Switzerland, the FAI World Long Distance Gas Balloon Championship, will take off from the airfield in Gruyere in under 100 days. This international competition brings together 22 teams from 13 different countries. 
After the balloons take to the skies, spectators will have the opportunity to discover air sports during the whole weekend. The 61st edition of the Coupe Aeronautique Gordon Bennett 2017 will take off on September 8, 2017 from the airfield in Gruyere at the base of the castle. It will bring together 22 teams from 13 countries that will try to fly the longest distance, measured in a straight line from the launch site to the landing site, with no time limit. The first place slot already promises to be hotly contested. Highly experienced pilots have signed up, like the current two-time world champion, the SUI-1 team of Kurt Frieden and Pascal Wichpratiga, that will race against the local SUI-2 Freeboard Challenge team of Nicholas Teak and Laurent Skibaz, World Cup runners-up in 2016. Walter Switner and Max Krebs, who have respectively participated in 7 and 16 Gordon Bennett World Cups, make up the SUI-3 team, the third crew which will race for Switzerland. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is trained daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe and do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. See you tomorrow.